but I'm kind of digging this Bam Bam look. I don't know. Bam Bam! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick review on a product that I picked up last week during the VIB Rouge sale at Sephora. Um, the sale is currently going on and it will be up until tw the 21st of April, which is Tuesday. I'm not quite sure if the discount will be the same between levels of Beauty Insiders. I know that VIB Rouge is 15%. I think VIB is the same. And regular Beauty Insiders are 10% off. So check out the sale, whether you have to stock up on new things or um, stock up on old things, whatever you need. You know, try to get it during the sale. But before the review, just remember my giveaway is still on until May 1st, Eastern Standard Time, 12 a.m. Um, so click down below if you guys want to enter on my giveaway. And also, don't forget to keep voting for me for Beauty Guru of the Month on Star Central Magazine. I would include both of those links down below to enter my giveaway and also vote for me. Um, now, with the video, I am going to talk about the, uh, the new Hourglass Ambient Bronzer. And it comes in packaging like this. I already opened it, so it'll be easier for me to take out. Um, they're regular, you know, like, packaging with the box. I got it the darkest color. There's only two colors available. And I got it in Radiant Bronze Light. Radiant is for the medium to deep skin tones. And I think the lighter one is Luminous Bronze Light. And this is their am Ambient Lighting Bronzer. It's 0.39 ounces or 11 grams of product. And it comes in their standard packaging. It retails for $50. This is beautiful. There is no other way to say it. I was invited to um, a VIB Rouge event last week. And it was called like Beauty Before Brunch or something like that. And I went with my friend Araga. And you know, we were just like getting a tons of sale salespeople coming around us and showing us new things. And I wasn't even going to buy anything new because I bought so much stuff online already through the sale. And I... I saw this online and I just didn't see anything about it. It was it didn't really catch my eye. And honestly, it doesn't even look dark enough for me. Just like, it doesn't look dark when you swatch it. It doesn't do anything. Um, so I was just like, I don't even know if I want this. And then she was like, the sales girl, she was super nice. She was like, can I put it on you? Can I just show you what it looks like? I was like, ah, whatever. Okay. She put it on me. I turned around. You guys. <laughs> it was like, Beyonce was in front of me in my mirror. Like... Hi, I'm Beyonce. How are you? It was beautiful. Like, the glow, everything. And at the time, the reason why I wanted to do this video with, like, full-blown makeup on, um, like, with, because uh, when she put it on me, I had already had makeup. I had a contour. I had everything on. Sim similar to what I have on today, like, you know, full foundation, everything, contour. Um, and she just added that to me, and I looked bronzed. I looked tanned. I looked sun Everything that it says in the description, that's exactly what I look like. It was just like, oh my gosh, like I just went tanning. <laughs> it was beautiful. So I wanted to do the same thing that she did to me, which is put it on top of your makeup so you can just see the difference between like what I am now. And you can see I have a little bit of a contour going on. Um, just a little bit of background on the product itself. This is more for a luminous effect on your skin. This is not a contour product. So, you know, I would not use this on the hollows of my cheeks or like down the bridge of my nose or jawline. This is not, you could use it on the jawline actually, but I wouldn't use it to contour my jawline. It's more for giving yourself, like again, a luminous sun-kissed glow on top of whatever you have going on. You can't even use this by itself. You don't even have to use blush or anything like that because of that. Sh it's not even shimmer. It's like a glow that just, ugh, it just makes your skin look absolutely healthy. So I'm going to use the... Bare Minerals Full Tapered Shadow and Blush Brush. It's a duo brush that I got in one of their sets, but this side is supposed to be for blush. I have been using this non-stop for contouring. If you guys want to check out a how to contour video, I show you how to um, contour as well as placing your blush and your highlight. I'll link that down below. I don't use this specific, I, maybe I do, I don't remember, use this brush in the video, but for as of right now, this is my favorite contour brush. So again, I got it in the color Radiant, which is for the darker skin tones. I don't think this is going to be as pigmented on the deeper skin tones, but I do know that the luminesce part of it will still happen. So I think this is perfect for anyone, you know, again, medium to tan all the way up. It's absolutely beautiful. The light one, in the pictures on Sephora, doesn't do it justice, but there's actually a very big difference between both of them. The first one looked extremely lighter in person than it does on the website, which is why I didn't really think to buy this. And this is $50, so it's not like it's cheap. So I didn't want to like order it online, get disappointed, and have to go back to the store. This is, oh god, there's definitely a difference in skin and um, color tones, if any of you guys are wondering that. 
Alright, so I'm going to just dip my brush in like this. This is kind of hard to hold up without you doing the mirror. So I'm going to go like this a little bit. And just remember to tap off excess. And this is, again, not a contour um, product. So I'm not going to go in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm actually going to go to maybe where I put the blush, the temples, you know, maybe my jawline, a little, a little bit like that. It's more framing my face and giving myself where I would look kind of tan. That's sun-kissed, like, highlighted glow. It's very subtle, but you can see that it, it is making a difference. I am going to put a little bit on my jawline just to deepen the effect of the contour that I already have on. Um, but that is really the only place contour wise that I would put this on and maybe at the tip of my nose for a little bit of a highlight but I keep it mostly to the temples maybe here if you guys have a larger forehead than I do but I tend to not contour that part because I have no forehead okay so I don't know if you guys can see the biggest difference but like this is my contour that I did today so which is kind of sharp and I am laying this on top so you guys would probably see that I need to blend it out but look at that amazing glow I'm trying this is such a weird angle to do it but you guys I'm trying to get my lighting to catch it it's absolutely gorgeous look at that oh like it just makes me mad how amazing this is I can't can't stop putting it on too like it's kind of a problem um but I mean it's absolutely beautiful and I just wanted to do a quick video of you guys see uh, so you guys can see me putting it on actually um and like no matter how much I put on I can just keep going with this it doesn't look overpowering at all like it's it doesn't look thick it, it looks apps it just blends beautifully and if you guys want to see it swatched it I mean it's so creamy it's not at all huge shimmer particles look at that it doesn't even look I just can't explain it it doesn't look like it's a matte gray color because it's not for contouring but it's just like the perfect warm it's not too orange it's not too brown it's not too red it's perfect and like you can see the shine that it has um there is a slight smell to it which I don't know if you guys it would bother you at all but so if you own any hour, hourglass products it just smells the same but it's slightly sweet slightly fragrant but you don't smell it on like I don't smell it on my face for me so I tend to just stick to bronzer for contouring instead of warming up the face but I just found, like, my boyfriend. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, that's it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And click like and subscribe if you guys want to see more of these type of videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!